everybody this is crystal so today i'm going to show you how to make this if i can get it spread out here lightweight um springtime poncho so go ahead and lay it out here show you now this is a four point poncho um as you can see though the bottom two points the front and the back point are sharper than the two on the sides which means that these fr the front and the back points will hang lower on your body than the two on the sides of your arms so they're not quite as sharp as the ones in front it's got a nice lacy um a stitch to it i do have a matching shawl the shawl is made out of different yarn but it's the exact same stitch i'll put a link to that below if you want to check that out too but it's nice and lightweight and of course you can make this however long you want to fit your size so let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project i am using a lion brand shawl and a ball it is an acrylic cotton blend and there's 481 yards in this skein and it is a medium weight yarn it is a thin medium but it's still a medium weight number four uh, 481 yards I went through about one whole skein and probably three quarters of another now I am not extremely tall I am only 5'3 so if you are of larger statue and you need um, a bigger size I would definitely do probably gonna need three of these balls if you type if you use the same type of yarn you don't have to use this any four weight yarn will work the color that I'm using is called a Lotus Blossom. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, I just want to take a second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, if you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see a little red subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll be automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my updates. Also, if you enjoy this tutorial or you like the way this poncho looks, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. So you want to go ahead and start with a chain of 80. And once you get your chain of 80 done, what we're going to do is we're going to follow it down without twisting your chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So go ahead and slip stitch into your first stitch and that will form one large ring. Now we are going to chain one and we're going to go right back there into the spot that we slip stitched into and we're going to single crochet. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around this big circle. Just like this so one single in every stitch all the way around until you get back to your starting point all right I've made it to the end of row one and you want to end by slip stitching into your first single crochet not the chain one that we did but the very first single crochet and you should have 80 stitches now you need to have your 80 stitches like that now when you look at this it may look pure small to you you see my hand makes it look kind of it doesn't look like it's going um to fit you know what i mean but don't worry because the more rows that you add it stretches the neck out even though this is a lightweight yarn it's still going to fit so this is the correct size you should have so don't worry about it if it looks small to you it's going to look that way but over time it will stretch itself out okay so row one you have 80 stitches so row two we're going to put the four points on the poncho so we're going to start with our first one 
we're going to chain one and we're going to work right back there into that same stitch there that we just slip stitched into and we're going to work two double crochets into that same stitch and then we're going to chain two and then we're going to go back into the same stitch again and work two more double crochets so that is going to be our first point it's actually going to be the back point of the poncho so what I'm going to do now is work one double crochet into the next 19 stitches so starting right here and I'm going to start and I'm going to work one in the next 19 so there's one two three four five all right i got my 19 double crochets in a row now i'm going to make my second point which is actually the side point of the shawl and remember it's not going to be as sharp as the front and the back so what we're going to do to form the side point is in the next stitch we're going to we're going to do one double crochet chain of two and then another double crochet into that same stitch so that's what the side points consist of one double chain two one double so again i'm going to work one double crochet into the next 19 stitches Okay, I did my 19 stitches in a row again, so I'm going to form my third point, which is actually the front point of the poncho. So it's going to be the sharp point, and it's going to get, in the next stitch, two double crochets. Chain two, and two more doubles, all into the same stitch. like that so we have our third point formed now again i'm going to do one double crochet into the next 19 stitches All right, I got my 19 stitches done and I'm gonna do my last point, which is a side point. So in the next stitch, I'm going to put one double crochet, chain two, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. So I have my four points made. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish by putting one stitch or one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the end of my row. And it should be 19 stitches that remain. Okay, I have made it to the end of round two, and I had 19 stitches that remain. I'm going to go in and end round two by slip stitching into my first double crochet of my first point. And you should have 88 stitches now. And then you'll have your four chain two spaces of the point. So this is kind of what it looks like. Not quite square because these two are sharper than these two so a little bit diamond shaped I guess okay round three four five six and seven are the repeat rounds for the entire poncho so we're starting on round three right now which is starting the repeat rounds so there's a it's five round repeat so for round three we are going to slip stitch two times to our first chain two space
and we're in the point of the poncho right here, the sharp point. So we're going to chain one and we're going to go ahead and put another point here. So we're going to work in the chain two space, we're going to work two double crochets. chain two and two more double crochets just like that now we are going to chain three we're going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next so we're skipping this one and singling single into the next and then we're going to chain three skip one and single into the next and this is what we're going to repeat until we get to our next point here our next chain two space we are going to chain three skip one and single into the next chain three skip one and single into the next Okay, I'm coming here to my next point, my next chain two space. So I'm going to go, I have two stitches left, you can see. I'm gonna chain three, skip one, and single crochet into the last stitch. Right there. Now I'm at my chain two space. I'm not going to chain three here. I'm just gonna go directly into this point here. This is the point that's on our side. It's not the sharp point. And I'm just going to do one double crochet, a chain of two, and then another double crochet into that chain two space. And there we formed our point again. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat what we did. So since I ended in a single crochet here, I'm going to begin in a single crochet here. So I'm going to start with a single crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm going to chain three and I'll skip one stitch and single into the next. And I'm going to chain three, skip one stitch and single into the next. And I'm going to repeat this until I get to my next point. Chain three, skip one and single until I get to my next point over here, which is gonna be the sharp front point. All right, I've made it over here. This is the front point. Now you can see I did a single crochet, I chained three, skipped one, and single crochet, crocheted here. I have one stitch left now because I'm at my sharp point. So I'm gonna chain three and I'm gonna skip this stitch and directly go into the chain two space and work two double crochets. a chain of two and then two more double crochets into that same chain two space of the point just like that now i'm going to start again and since i look over here and i ended by chaining three i skipped this last one and i had a chain three i'm going to start by chaining three and skipping this one and single crocheting in the next. That way both sides match each other. Like that, see? And that's what I'm gonna repeat now. I'm gonna chain three, skip one stitch, and single into the next. Chain three, skip one stitch, single into the next, and I'm gonna repeat this until I get to my next point. Okay, I'm coming to my next point, which is the side point. It's not a sharp point. So I'm gonna chain three. I have two stitches left. I'll skip one in my single crochet into the last stitch here. And since this is the side point, remember it's not the sharp one, we're not gonna chain three now. We're gonna go directly right into the chain two space of it and work a double crochet, chain two, and another 
double crochet. And since we ended in a single crochet here on the other side, we're going to start in it with a single crochet here. So single crochet into the first stitch and then we chain three, skip one and single into the next, chain three, skip one, single into the next. And we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. Chain three, skip one, and single. All right, I'm coming to the end of round three. I just did a single crochet and I chained three. I'm gonna skip one. Right here, there are two stitches, but it's hard to see because we slip stitched into them. So I'm going to skip one and single crochet into the next. And there's one left. I'm going to, since this is my sharp point of the back, I'm going to chain three and I'm going to skip that last stitch and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet like that and that'll end round three. Okay, and this is what it starts to look like. A little bit diamond shaped, I guess. Kind of looks like a lemon. <laughs> so you got your two sharper points and then your two side points. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll start round four. And we're going to slip stitch two times to our first chain two space of our first point. And then we're gonna work chain one. And in the chain two space, we're gonna do two double crochets, a chain two and two double crochets into this first point. So there's one and two, and then we're going to chain two and work two more double crochets into the same chain two space. Now we're going to work a chain of three, two, three. Now we're going to skip these two stitches here. And we're going to single crochet into our first chain three space. So right through the chain space, we single crochet. And then we're going to chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Just like that. And that's what we're going to repeat. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. We're gonna repeat this until we get to our next point of the poncho. Chain three, and single into the next chain space. Chain three, and single into the next chain space all the way and so we get right over here to the next point right here okay i'm coming up on my next point here right here now this is the side point so remember it's not the sharp point so we work it different we're going to chain three there i just single crocheted in my last chain three space and i chain three i'm going to skip one stitch and single crochet into this last stitch here. And now I'm not going to chain three. I'm going to go directly into the chain space of the point and I'm going to work one double, a chain of two, and another double, just like that. Now, since I ended in a single crochet here, I'm going to start with a single crochet here. So I'm going to single crochet into the first stitch and I'm going to chain three and I'm going to single crochet into my next chain three space. So I'm skipping this one stitch and single crocheting into my next chain three space. And that's what I'm going to repeat. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space. And I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to my next point of the poncho. 
chain three, single into the next chain three space, just like that. Okay, I'm coming to my next point and it is the sharp point of the poncho. So it's the front of the poncho. I single crochet there into my last chain three space. So since we're at the sharp point, we're going to chain three, skip these two stitches and into the chain two space of the point, we're going to work two double crochets. A chain of two and two more doubles into the same spot to form the point again. Just like that. Now we're going to start the same way, start over here the same way we ended over here. So we're going to need to chain three, skip these two stitches, and single crochet into our first chain three space. Like that. So that's kind of what it looks like there on the sharp point of the poncho. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and we're just going to repeat this until we get to our next point all right i've made it to my next point and it's a side point so it's not one of the sharp points so remember we work it different i single crocheted into my last chain three space and now i'm going to chain three i'm going to skip one stitch and i'm going to single crochet into this last stitch here i'm not going to chain three i'm going to go directly into the chain two space of the point right here and i'm going to work one double crochet chain two and another double crochet and since we're gonna i ended over here with a single crochet i'm going to start over here with a single crochet so single into my first stitch chain three and there'll be one stitch here to skip single crochet into your first chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space and we're just going to repeat that chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and we're going to do this until we get to the end of the round okay i'm coming to the end of round four and I single crocheted into my last chain three space. And since this is the sharp point, it's the back of the poncho, we're going to chain three, skip these two stitches, and we're gonna end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And that'll end round four. Just like that. So round five, it's just a repeat of round four. We're gonna do the same thing that we just did on round four for round five. So for round five, we're gonna slip stitch two times till we get to our chain two space of our point. Chain one, we're gonna work right back into this point, into this chain two space and work two double crochets, a chain two and two more double crochets and we're doing the same thing we did for round four we will chain three skip those first two stitches single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space and we're going to do this until we get to our next point point. 
All right, I've made it to my next point and it's a side point. It's not a sharp point. So remember, it gets worked different, differently than the sharp points. But we're gonna do the same thing we did on the previous uh, round. We're going to add a single crochet into my last chain three space. I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. Now I am not going to chain three. I'm going to directly into this chain two space of the point. Now I'm gonna work one double crochet, a chain of two, and another double crochet. And since I ended in a single, I'm gonna start in the single. So single crochet into your first stitch, chain three, and there'll be that one stitch there to skip and just single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three. And repeat, single into the next chain three space. Chain three. Single into the next chain three space. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just gonna repeat the pattern that we did for round four for round five. And I'm gonna do this until I get to the beginning or till I get back to the end of the row. I'm just gonna keep repeating what I did for round four. So I will meet back up with you when I make it all the way around, right over here to my starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round five, which remember was just a repeat of round four. And this is what it's starting to look like. It's it's uh, wavy, and that's fine. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to look like. So, and here's your two sharp points. This is be the front, and this will be on your back. And here will be your two sides on your arms. Okay. Now we're going to start round six, and we are going to start by slip stitching two times to our first chain two space of our first point. And we're going to chain one, and we're going to go ahead and work two double crochets, a chain two and two doubles into this chain space. It's like that. Now I'm going to put one double crochet into these first two stitches. And now I'm going to put two double crochets into this chain three space. Two doubles. And then I'm going to jump to the next chain three space and work two double crochets into the chain three space. Next chain three space, I'm going to work two double crochets. Jump to the next chain three space and work two double crochets. So it's two double crochets in every chain three space until we get to the next point of the poncho. Just like this. So I'm gonna continue working two doubles in every chain three space and I'll meet up with you when I get to my next point. Okay, I'm coming to my next point. It's not the sharp point, it's just the side point. So I put two double crochets into my last chain three space and I'm gonna put one double crochet in each of these last two stitches. And then in the chain two space of the point, I'm gonna work one double crochet a chain of two and one more double crochet and then I'm going to start again. I'm going to start by putting one double crochet in these first two stitches and then two double crochets into the next chain three space. Two double crochets in every chain three space until I get to the next point. Two doubles into the next chain three space. 
two doubles into the next. So I'm just going to repeat this and I'll meet back up with you when I get to the next point of my poncho. All right, I've made it right here is the next point and it's the sharp point that goes into the in the front. So I put two double crochets into that chain two space and I'm going to go ahead and put one double crochet in the next two stitches. And then when I get to the chain two space here, I'm going to work right through it. I'm going to work two double crochets, a chain of two, and two more double crochets like that. And now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches on this side. And then it's two double crochets in every chain three space until I get to the next point of the poncho. Two double crochets into the next. two double crochets into the next chain three space and I'm just going to repeat this and I'll meet back up with you at the next poncho point. Two doubles in every chain three space. Okay I'm coming to my next point. It's the side point so it's not the sharp one. Go ahead and put one double crochet into these next two stitches. And then in the chain two space of the point, we work one double crochet, chain of two, and one more double crochet. And now we're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches. And now we're going to continue putting two double crochets in each of the chain three spaces until we get to the end of round six. So two doubles into that chain three space, two doubles into the next chain three space, and I'm just going to keep repeating this until I get to the end of the round. All right, I'm coming to the end. I did two double crochets in that last chain two space and there are two stitches left here and they're kind of hard to see because you slip stitched into them. So just do your best and put one double crochet into the last two stitches. And we're going to go ahead and end round six by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And this is what it looks like kind of after round six. It kind of straightened up that wave a bit. And it's okay if it's flipping up a bit. That's okay. That's okay. It's going to do that. Okay, round seven is the last round of the repeat. So we're going to go ahead and start by slip stitching two times to our first chain two space, our first point. And we're going to chain one. And into this space, we're going to work two double crochets. chain two and two more double crochets. Now what we're going to do is just we're going to work one double crochet in every single stitch. Don't forget this very first one. Sometimes he hides. You got to get him. One double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next poncho point. So we're on round seven now. One double in every stitch, and I'll meet up with you when we get to our next point. All right, I've made it to my next point, and this is not a sharp point, it's just side point so it just gets right through the chain two space it gets one double crochet chain of two and one more double crochet and then we're going to start again working 
one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next point. Just like that. So I'm going to continue working one double crochet in every stitch and I'll meet back up with you when we get to the next point. Okay, I've made it to my next point and this is the front point of the poncho. It's the sharp point. So in the chain two space, it gets two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets all into that same chain two space. And then we're going to start again working one double crochet into every stitch until we get to the next poncho point. Okay, I made it to the next point, which is the side point. It's not a sharp one. So you go into the chain two space at the point and it just gets one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. And now I'm gonna finish up the round by putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the round. Just like that. All right, I'm coming to the end here. And remember, when you get here, there are two stitches. And I know that it's hard to see them because you slip stitch into them. But make sure you get those two stitches. Double crochet in those last two stitches. And then we're going to end around seven by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And this is what it looks like now. And it will probably start to flip up on you. That is fine. It's going to do that until you get you start the repeat again. So now it's just a repeat of rounds three, four, five, six, and seven. Five rounds. You just keep repeating them. And once you start to repeat rounds three, four, and five, the chain rounds, this will lay down. So don't worry about it flipping up. So that is it. Just continue repeating rounds three through seven until you get the poncho the length that you want it to be. So for round eight, it would just be a repeat of round three where we slip stitch two times to our chain two space, chain one, and then this is the sharp point. So we always work two double crochets chain two and two doubles in our sharp points of the poncho and these are our chain stitch rounds so we chain three skip one and single into the next chain three skip one and single into the next chain three skip one and single into the next and we just repeat that until we get to the next point so if you need to rewind me you can so we're just going to repeat rounds three through seven now i repeated for a total of 30 rounds so i ended in the chain rounds so that way my double crochet row would lay down you don't want to end in the double crochet row because they'll flip up. You want to end in the chain three rounds. So I did 30, but remember I'm short. I'm only 5'3". So um, you might, if you need to make it bigger, you just make it as long as you want. Maybe you don't even want a long poncho. Maybe you do want a short one. You could just, you can make it even shorter in this. It's, it's really however big you want it, however you like to wear your ponchos. But after that, you just go ahead and end your round like normal and tie off now if you want to add some type of fringe you definitely can or maybe a shell edging you can do that i'm just going to leave mine plain but one more thing i'm going to do here all right now once you get your poncho as long as you want it to be i'm just going to do one last thing and that's go around the top with the round of single crochet right up here just to clean up the edges so i'm just going to start in the back point of the poncho so you can see here's where i started Here's my tail from the beginning. Just start somewhere right around here. Doesn't have to be exact. Start any stitch. And pull your yarn through. 
chain one. I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and then I'm going to single crochet and then I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to where I started. So all it's doing is just cleaning up this top edge. It's like this. One single in every stitch all the way around your collar to you get back to your, to your starting point. All right, I've made it around to my starting point and you just wanna end with the slip stitch into your first single crochet and then we'll tie that off. Now you should have 80 stitches since that's what we started with, but if you don't, that's all right. As long as you got somewhere close to that, it's not no big deal. Then you just hide that tail and that's it. That's all there is to it. It's finished. It could turn out pretty nice. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along okay. Uh, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, if you look up in the left-hand corner right now, you'll see a picture of my face. If you just click on that, you'll automatically be subscribed. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.